Good morning guys, good morning world, this is EJ, I'm back once again with another narrated art time lapse and today we'll be taking a look at Bushido Princess vs The Godfather. Um, this was an illustration I did for conceptart.org's daily sketch group way back in 2018. So again, <laughs> we're going back in time taking a look at something I did a long time ago. Um, so yeah, um, well, uh, I, I guess to kind of start things out with, let me just talk about what's going on in the scene right now. Um, so this was done when uh, I have an older work method. Um, this is something that I don't do as much anymore. Um, basically what I did was uh, I just pick like a huge canvas and just kind of just zoom in on that canvas and then just start sketching whatever it is that I kind of had in my mind. Um, and you know, as soon as I have the sketch and then I'll try and resize it to whatever size that I wanted. So I ended up basically like cropping the whole thing. Uh, but you can see I first started out with simple shapes to kind of denote where the godfather is. So that's who I'm sketching right now. And obviously there's this um, polygon shape farther back in in the scene that uh, where the Bushido princess is going to be. So uh, yeah, uh, basically like the first few minutes is just going to be spent on me just sketching this whole thing out, uh, sketching everything out. Um, and then as soon as I have everything sketched out, I pretty much just use the lasso tool and start blocking things out, which is a very unnatural way for me to work. Because if you guys have been watching my videos, I really like my blending technique. Um, I don't do the lasso tool as much. I do use the lasso tool every now and then. Uh, I've mentioned great lasso tool artists before. Jordan Grimmer comes to mind always. Uh, Ati Kailin, I think, only uses lasso tool. And Dominic May Mayer. Um, check their YouTube out because they're really great and really awesome. And you'll learn a thing or two about their technique. But as for me, I'm more like the Mark Burnett kind of guy where it's just all in one layer and I just go gung ho on just sketching things out and just painting over the same thing um so yeah uh it's a preference but this was kind of like an experimentation you know i was new to conceptart.org well not really new i think at, at this point in time i was already uh a member for like two or three years and uh, but my workflow wasn't as established as it is now um so basically uh, um, everything's kind of just like new to me in this. It's all just an experiment at this point. Um, but I love it though. I, I love this image. Um, I, I have my hesitations about it. You know, there's, it, it just seems too simple at times. And I kind of don't like the background. Sort of kind of like it. Sort of kind of don't. Uh, kind of like half and half about it. But, um... In my notes, I wrote down that this is probably one of the best lit scenes I've ever drawn. And I ha I have to agree with the sentiment. Um, I I've been noticing lately that I have this tendency to draw backlit scenes, which I've mentioned this before, backlit scenes are just immensely difficult to, to illustrate. It's just a hard lighting situation. Um, but the thing with backlit scenes is that, you know, if you do it right, um, it comes out nicely. Um, and really harsh backlit scenes such as this one, everything is just a silhouette, which is really what I was going for. You know, I was really just going for a silhouette look, you know, which is basically what the Bushido princess ended up being. She ended up just being a silhouette and everyone else was a silhouette except for the godfather's face because he was lighting a cigarette and he's smoking and yet it on so you could like see his face but everything else is just like dark shape so i love the simplicity of the scene because it's just so simple and so well drawn um 
you know and it was really quick obviously because it was just very very simple and uh, there's still things that could be refined about it in all honesty um but yeah for a speed paint it, it works nicely so but anyways uh, i'm done sketching so obviously i sketched out um the bushido princess and the um the dead guy so obviously there's been a fight scene that's already happened and you can tell that the bushido princess has a totally different pose than than the ending pose um and i really love the ending pose i you know at first i i wanted it to be like action scene oriented you know and that's the reason why i have i have the bushido princess pose as the way she is like she's about to shoot the godfather you know but then when I switch it out to that um, scene of her just calmly standing, I was just like, wow, this is so much more effective as a pose because, you know, it kind of gave like this whole calm before the storm feel throughout the whole illustration, which I absolutely adore. So, yeah, I absolutely love the fact that I changed uh, her pose. And here I am. Um, talking you know how i mentioned about how i ended up cropping things out and resizing things so that that was pretty much me just doing that so yeah but it's basically i'm just gonna be sketching well i'm really just done sketching at, at this point i will start doing the last of tools and start doing the whole basic shapes um which you will see me do in the next few minutes So basically, I'm about to work on the silhouette of the characters, uh, the foreground characters. Um, and while that's going on, I guess um, I'm going to take a real quick uh, few moments to talk about like my inspiration for the initial idea for the scene. So when I first read the prompt, initially, the very, very first thing that came to my mind was the Kill Bill scene, the crazy 88 Kill Bill scene. There was this one moment during this whole fight sequence in that movie where the lead girl was fighting a bunch of guys in a room very, very, very similar to this. It was, you know, uh, 
backlit kind of just like the way it is and so initially that was like my inspiration for the scene um and kill bill has a lot of uh eastern influences on it you know a lot of samurai action going on um so it just seems fitting for me to just think about that as my inspiration for this particular illustration. Um, but in the original Kill Bill scene, uh, the background, the lit background is just plain blue. There's just no texture to it or no other images. Um, I ended up experimenting with the background because there was another action movie that has a very very similar scene which is Daniel Craig's James Bond movie I think it was quantum solace but I'm not I'm not sure I could be wrong about that um, but in that movie there was also a fight sequences backlit just like this right and the difference though between the James Bond movie and the Kill Bill movie was that in the James Bond movie they ended up using a video as the primary light source so it was like a TV or something in the back and it was like the primary light source and everything else was dark um, so there was like all this moving jellyfish which is basically just my inspiration for the background and again, like I mentioned, I'm kind of like iffy about it. I'm like half and half. I'm like, do I like it? Do I not like it? Like, I don't know, you know. But it does break up the scene. So that's part of the reason why I ended up keeping it. So, yeah. But anyways, those two movies are, are great movies. Um, Kill Bill especially. It's such a cool classic. You guys just have to watch that. Especially the crazy 88 scene. It's just... One of the most outrageous and awesome scenes that has ever existed in an action film. So go watch it. It was really cool. But yeah, anyways, going back to the illustration. Um, again, everything is just so simple about this illustration, which, you know, I love. Dominic Mayer, again, the artist, he really deals a lot with silhouettes and, and a lot of his paintings. Just go check out his YouTube. It's just really amazing how he does this. And in all honesty, he does it way more effectively than I do. Because like I said, I kind of diverge from this style of artwork. And I've started doing my own, you know, style basically. Uh, but yeah, this this way of doing things where you use the lasso and create silhouettes and then slowly build up those silhouettes um is a very much uh a good technique you know because it's it's really fast if you think about it like i mean with this one it was like an hour and a half that i did this you know and the scene was just so simple and well done and it just works so well you know I mean, like, look at it right now. I mean, the scene is pretty much complete and everything, all I have to do or the only thing I have left to do would be the Godfather's face, a smoking, you know, lit face. And that's about it. Everything else about it is pretty much done and like it could stay as is. So, yeah, it's a very fast workflow from what I've noticed. You know, a lot of speed painters really use the whole lasso technique. Me, on the other hand, I really like my blending technique. Um, it's messier, in all honesty, and the colors kind of do get wild with it. And it's a lot longer process, um, I feel like. But I do love it. <laughs> so, you know, it's just, honestly, it's just become a preference. So, yeah. But yeah, what I'm going to be working on next would be just the face. Uh, just having a light on it. Um just basically doing this whole glow thing going on in the face as you can see and then after i do the initial uh rendering of the face and adding the lights and shadows and whatnot i go back with a color dodge because i really i really love the result when it did a color dodge so it really brought everything out like all the highlights and whatnot so it was just really cool that i did the color dodge it was like a last minute inspiration too like i didn't really I, from what i remember i wasn't consciously thinking of doing the color dodge until the very last minute and then when i did like i'm like oh wow yeah that that looks so much better so yeah
so I'm basically ready to wrap up this illustration because uh, it's close to getting finished. Uh, as you can see, I'm editing the Bushido Princess because, like I mentioned earlier, I just wanted a simpler pose. The the pose that she was in, even though it was action oriented, just looks awkward. <laughs> It just looks really really awkward. So I decided you know what let's just simplify this whole thing and Just go with this simpler Pose which is so much more effective, you know, I mean, it's like ten times more effective um, In illustrating this whole tension in the scene. So yeah But yeah, this scene is this whole painting is pretty much close to being complete so yeah, I really love this whole scene, even though I, I do have a lot of critique about it. Like one of the things I noticed is that uh, I, I made the Godfather's head like way too big. It, it felt like he was a short, stumpy guy, which is kind of cool because, you know, I mean, there's some, you know, uh, mobster dudes <laughs> that are short and stumpy and just is very intimidating even though they have such a short stature um but yeah um i i didn't intend for him to be that that short in all honesty but it felt like he is you know his head is too big so it felt like he's like a really short guy uh what i really intended for him to be is big and fat but yeah it <laughs> doesn't really come across that way but uh yeah this scene's done. You can see I'm just adding a little highlights on the rim, rim highlights on the girl. Did the same thing in the Godfather too, and and on the dead bodies on the floor. Um, just to kind of just denote the whole fact that there's like a light source behind, behind all of them. So yeah. And yeah, the finishing touch is the Godfather. Just adding the last few highlights and just you know. Just making sure that his face reads better correctly. Yeah, so I'm adding like shadows and whatnot. A little outline where the mount is and where the cigarette is. And it's just so simple. I swear. The color dodge did so much wonders on his face. So yeah. But very simple scene. Done very, very quickly. Painted very, very nicely. Uh, so yeah, this is the end of it. Thank you guys for watching this with me and for listening to me critique my old artwork. I will see I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Good night.